Okay, just to do a quick update on the seed starting method that we're trying. I, I showed this in a previous video talking about auto siphons, but I wanted to hit it again. Just to continue with the series. In a real nice stand of lettuce here, and, and I don't know if this is an Italian lettuce mixture that I have or if it is uh, mescaline lettuce. I think that's how it's said. Uh, we've got some other stuff coming up. The seeds up here and here, over here. And this stuff is mixed. I don't know what all's in there. I just grabbed seeds, threw them in, just to see what would happen. And as they come on out and start giving us some more leaves, uh, since this lettuce is, we'll start to figure out what they are exactly, and uh, then I'll plant accordingly. Uh, there's nothing big in there um, that, I, that I recall. It's all small plants, leafy greens. And we'll see what it does. I'm really looking forward to seeing if our roots will come out of the bottom of these pots. Uh, in, a, in a short time that way we can actually get them in the grow beds and that's what I'm waiting for is to see root come out of the bottom of these and then I'll say okay I've got enough going on here I can now safely pull them out of this gravel and get them into our pot alright get a little bit of this gravel out and I don't know if you can see it on the video or not but there's lots of stuff floating around here lots of fish poof and what have you which is perfect it's exactly what we're looking for uh, I've got lots of that getting into the system. Um, just to let you know where I'm at on my levels, uh, ammonia is next to nothing, nitrite next to nothing, and my nitrates are about 10 parts per million. Uh, so we're in really good shape on that. We're feeding our plants good. Not having to add any foliar sprays, although I did add some iron two days ago. Uh, to lead it iron just to bring us up in, in our level. And I will do an update on what irons you should use at, at certain pH levels later uh, and add that to YouTube. Uh, there's, there's several different irons. One is totally useless. Uh, it, the, the, the plants will not pick it up at all, no matter what your pH level is. And then there's two more. One is the chelated iron I have, and then another one is an EDDA chelated iron. And that is the one you actually want to use if possible. Uh, it will be picked up by the plants at the highest and lowest levels of pH. So uh, I'll do a little bit on that and get that up so you guys can look at it. And just to look around, um, we've got some dead spots on our leaves where I sprayed some uh, organic pesticide the other day and, and I got a little overzealous with my orange oil. Put a little bit too much in it. I didn't burn the leaves, which uh, can happen. And I don't know if you're seeing it or not, but I've got bees all over this grow bed honeybees, which here in East Texas where I live, we've got lots of honeybees. A lot of the local farmers have gotten away from pesticides, so we've stopped killing our bees. Get the pipe out of the way. Just to show you what's going on now, one thing we're getting ready to do is on this wall, this is our north wall, we're going to put a trellis on the inside of this wall and hold it off the inside of the wall about an inch and a half, maybe a little more, but we're also going to line this inside wall with uh, plastic and the reason we're doing that is for insulation so we'll have a layer on the inside and then we'll also have a layer on the outside and that will create a dead air space and that dead air space is huge when it comes to creating an, an insulation barrier an R factor between the outside wall and inside wall alright so that's it for the update again I got overzealous with my uh, spray and you can see, I'll try to show you some close-ups. See that leaf there? It's got some damage, some burning. Same thing here on this great big spaghetti squash leaf. Actually, that's yellow crookneck squash. My spaghetti squash is back over in this other grow bed. Uh, and I've got cucumbers out here now that have come up really well in that area. Some more yellow crookneck. Yellow crookneck. I believe these two are cantaloupe. We'll see as they mature more. I had to pull these early, if you'll remember, because I went anaerobic in my seed pots, and that's why we're start, we're trying the new seed starting media in a grow bed, which will be moved outside of the grow bed at some point, uh, hopefully this evening, and use something different than that metal and get it set up more on a permanent uh, uh, fixture instead of just laying in the grow bed. That way I've got a place to put more plants as they... Uh, get up size and, and are ready to go in the grow beds. Anyway, that's it for this update. Please share this video. Um, subscribe to us. That way you get our updates immediately when I upload a new video. 
And uh, if, if you hadn't already found us on Facebook, just uh, go to Facebook.com, type in True Aquaponics in the search, and it'll bring up our group. Feel free to join us. We'd love to have you, whether you're a newbie or uh, really have your stuff together and have something to add and contribute. Thank you much.